Good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning to you, everyone. Good morning. I want to quickly put it out to the public on the immigration update as with regards to the biometric fingerprint taken as, um, as a result of this COVID-19 uh, issue. I want to quickly update to you public so that no one will be thinking that you have sent a lawyer to do your work. They have not completed it. You understand? I want to quickly put it out there. Because a lot of people talk rubbish. So it's better to put it out to the public to let them know. You understand? A lot of people talk, they open their mouth and talk nonsense. But I want to put it out to the public that the immigration update is out again. You understand? I want to put it out to the public, the immigration update, it is out there. You don't need to be embarrassing lawyers and be telling them that, oh, they have not done your biometrics. Lawyers is not going to be responsible for your biometric. Okay? And those of you that are not concerned that you are carrying somebody else's load on your head, I just feel sorry for you. Um, the updates with regards to the exterior Supra, you know, the updates regarding the uh, um, fingerprint from Supra company basically means that the government will not be able to invite everyone for biometric due to coronavirus. And before I move into that smoothly, I want to quickly tell you guys in Manchester, Manchester, you are on lockdown because of COVID-19. There is a spread issue on that virus in Manchester. So Manchester is on lockdown again. Nigerians that are living in Manchester do not pretend as if you don't know that Manchester is on lockdown. Manchester is on lockdown. There is a spread of COVID-19 in Manchester. It's surge, which means that it's increasing in Manchester. And as a result of that, the government has locked it down. Now, how the government will be successful in locking Manchester down from London is what I don't know. Because many of you can drive, train, and come to London. So I am not going to see you for now. I am not going to see you for now. Manchester, you are on lockdown, and that is reality. Leeds is, I think Leeds as well is already on lockdown, or Leicester either. But Manchester is clear that Manchester is on lockdown due to COVID-19 surge in that area. You understand? So that county currently, maybe people don't read their news. They might be saying, oh, they are not aware you are on lockdown in Manchester. And it's the fact. The coronavirus is around and is here to stay. But because of the increase in that county, the government has decided to lock Manchester down. And I have decided to continue working remotely the way I'm working for now as well. And we only allow people to come in that lives in London and they are ready to put on their everything for now. And I have not even given that guideline. So, good morning to you, everybody. Good morning, and God bless you for coming on this timeline. Good morning to you. My name has not changed, and my profession will never change. Whether the world will come to an end tomorrow, or it will come to an end in 10,000 years' time, my profession will not change as a lawyer, as a qualified solicitor, and as a senior immigration expert, giving advice, you know, to the public at large. My position will not change. So, enemies have market. The point here is that I want to update clients and fans all over the world with regards to the issue of biometric fingerprints. I want to put it out to you that the government has decided to continue uh, to encourage those who have the reuse of biometrics to you to reuse their biometric. But what government have said from the you know, I'm going to read it out to you. The name is there already. For those of you that I have told you that you have been asked to reuse your biometric, the government has made it difficult for you. In fact, you are better off invited for the biometric than to be reused. Because to be reused, to reuse, to reuse your biometric means that they are giving you more work to do. The government said that we recently wrote, Dear Mr. So so and Mrs. So so so, you know. If you have received the message as the leading applicant, please ensure that you are informed immediately. We recently wrote to you that UK Visa and Immigration is changing the way it processes applications in response to COVID-19. For some customers, this involves reusing biometrics 
fingerprints and photographs that have been recorded in the previous application as part of the process to verify your identity. Consider your application or produce a biometric residence permit BRP. Now, to allow biometrics to be reused for some customers, UKVI and UKVCAS, which is UK visas and citizenship application services, they have worked together to develop a way to submit facial images using a new UVAS identity verification and uh, identity verification hubs. The IDV hub lets you submit application information to UKVI without having to book or attend an appointment with UVAS. This new free, this new free to use way of submitting information to you by will involve you taking a photo of yourself am i bothered out listen carefully listen the, the this will involve you taking a new photo of yourself now if you are illiterate computer illiterate not literate or illiterate you are going to struggle if you are computer illiterate or you are device illiterate you are going to struggle because you have to take the photo of yourself it's not nothing to do with lawyers now let me read that area properly for you to allow biometrics to use, you know, and to be reused for some customers, you know, they have worked together to develop a way to submit facial images. Now, the ID, IDV hubs let you submit application information to UKVI without having to book or attend an appointment with UKVAS. The new free-to-use way of submitting information to UKVI will involve you taking a photo of yourself. Listing, you will take a photo of yourself. <laughs> thank you, Jari, my dear Stella. Thank you. The idea, you know, you it will involve you taking a photo of yourself and uploading supporting information onto your mobile device. Did you see how difficult this is going to be? Now, some people will make money in this COVID. That is the problem, that is the word. Whether people are complaining and shattering, when some people are, ha are having problems to survive, that is where some people will make money. Some people will make money from this problem. It's clear and it's confirmed. When some people are crying that they cannot get jobs, or they lost their job, or they are struggling with their life, they don't even know what they are doing. This is the period that some people will make money, believe it or not. So, fingers are now equal. There is no need to complain. Take your destiny as it comes. People should stop complaining to my head. You understand? I like people that work hard. Now, they have they have now decided that you need to take a photo of yourself and upload the supporting information onto your mobile device. You will take photo of yourself. You will upload the supporting information that you want to use. You will upload it on your mobile device. The IDV app is quick and easy to use and works on most Android and iPhones. Now, when will this IDV be available? Now, let's, let's look at it. The government says that they are rolling out of the ID, IDV hubs will take place in phases beginning in August. Now, I haven't seen it. And this is today, the first day of the month, working day of the month. It will take place the beginning in August. You will, it, will, it will take place in, in place in phases beginning in August. We will invite eligible customers to use the new to use the new IDV hubs rather than require you to book an appointment at a at a UK, UK VAS, which means that UK visa and citizenship application service point. Now the UK VI have identified that you are eligible to use these ID apps. And UKVI can use biometric you have previously provided. Please be reassured that your immigration status remains unaffected while your application is in progress. So you can hear that phrase. You have not called my office. My office, somebody's there, and I'm in the office. Stop telling me, don't stop distracting me when I'm talking. You know, UKVI have identified that you are eligible. So if you receive a letter, if you receive a letter, you will be eligible to do this thing. Now, please be reassured that your immigration status remains unaffected. So all those that are worried about their status, if you submit your application in time before your leave runs out, you are not affected. If it's submitted before it expired, you are not affected while your application is in progress. 
What does this mean for you? It means that for most customers using the IDF app, it means that you will not have to attend an appointment at UK VAS uh, Center Service Point. An invitation will be sent for you to use the new IDV app within the next few weeks with further details about how to, to use the IDV apps. So another invitation we sent again. Remember this letter was sent out to people about three, four weeks ago. It's a waste of time. So which means that government is using you guys as an experiment to, to deploy another, another set of device, which means that some people are going to make money. This is a contract to another company entirely. And now this company is going to eat. There is no country that doesn't have corruptions. It depends on how they do it properly. Every country is corrupt. United States, United Kingdom, they are corrupt. Because assigning this contract to another company, is either the Home Secretary is, is aware of this or related to this person, or is her friends, or is her colleague, or is her mate, this person that she's giving this contract to. Or the Prime Minister himself knows this person. You will remember lately, as at Friday, Prime Minister has made his uh, brother as a, a, a member of House of Lords. His brother is not a 50-year-old, he's not a 60, 70-year-old. His brother is just coming to the age of 48 or 49. He has already given his brother a lord in House of Lords. So every country is corrupt. There is no country that is not corrupt. It's just that some of them are clean. Some of them are very tidy up. So you cannot see, they are not careless. UK is also corrupt. It's a corrupt nation. Even the police officers are corrupt. When it comes to taking bribes, in the United Kingdom, officers does it at a higher high level, but you will not know how it's done. That will not be appeared to the public. It will not be the same way they are doing in the Western, uh, in the developing world, when they are taking money on the high street, putting it in the pocket with their uniform. But all countries are corrupt. Now, the point here is that the point here is that if you are happy to use the hubs that you don't need to do anything for now. They will come back, with, they will be in touch with you. You understand? Within the next few weeks to invite you to use the new hubs. So there is another two weeks or three weeks again to invite you to use the hubs. What of if you want to book an appointment and not to use the ID hubs? Now, if you don't want to use the hubs, then you don't have to use it, but you have to make it clear that you don't want to use it. Then what of if you need an outcome on your application due to compassionate or emergency reason? Then you have to contact UKVI for further information there. If you need your result because of compassionate or emergency reason, it is not good morning, my dear Adama Counting. God bless you, my dear. Good morning. God bless you, Adama. And God bless everyone on the line as well. But I, I know why I say good God bless Adama Counting. Um, so you need to contact the UKVI if you need further information in that aspect. Now, please note, your immigration status will not be affected in the meantime. And if you do not have a passport or a travel document, you have to contact UKVI for further advice. If you need further information, then you need to contact them. Now, this is it. This is it. This is it. This is it. It's corruption. All these things you are looking at, they are using COVID. They are using coronavirus as an excuse to deploy to create these halves, but this is corruption at its highest. Oh yes, I can say it and I can defend it. This is corruption at its highest. There is no country that's not corrupt. It's just that they are very smooth. You are right, Mrs. Epeme. They are very smooth the way they put it through. They are very smooth, they are smart. Now, what is the purpose of deploying, the, uh, introducing this now? Giving people another headache when you have already charged them 19 pounds. When you have charged people that money for biometric, why did they have to do it by themselves? Why did they have to take selfie by themselves when the government has already taken 19 pounds as part of the application process? Government has already charged. Government has already charged 19 pounds on top of that application people submitted. People pay NHS 1,000. They pay 1,052 pounds 20 for the, for the home office fee. Inside that 1,052.20, that is there already. The 19 pounds is there. Good morning, Mr. Falabi. Thank you, sir. You know, that in is there already. 
So I, I, I am worried. I am really, really worried. Why this have to happen again? Now, are they going to return the 1919 pounds paid extra on top of that inside that application for the home office? And now somebody will come out and come and say this and that. There is no place there is no corruption. There is no place where there is no fraud. There is no country. Every country is corrupt. They will give appointment contracts to their own family member. If it's not part of corruption, why would Mrs. Uh, Lady Patel be there? Lady Patel was, was put in place as a home secretary because of, the, 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 because of her father's uh, contributions in conservative. Because of her father's contribution in conservative, that is why she will rise rapidly to that position. So what are we talking about? What are we talking about? Yes, they are so corrupt. Because you can look at this now. It means that people are going to struggle to do that herbs, which, which is one of the problems that the EU settlement scheme is facing at the moment. Because they are asking the EU settlement scheme applicant to take a facial image of themselves. A lot of people do not know that it's a selfie. They are going to photograph her. They are going to shops to go and take pictures. We will send it to the Home Office, Home Office uh, EU Settlement Department. They will reject it. They are rejecting it because people don't know that it's a selfie. Just to make sure that you are in the country. The, main, the reason why they are, taking, they are using selfie is to make sure it's you. Because selfie is a, is a moving image, if you don't know. So when they put it on their system, selfie will tell them. Good morning, where are you? You know, selfie will tell them. Thank you, thank you, Olivia Libra. You understand? Selfie will tell them exactly how it's moving. So selfie will let them know that you are alive. The reason why they want to do this is because they do not want to corrupt the biometric card. They want the biometric card to remain. You know, they want it to remain the way they, they have created it. So that nobody can use it. Facial image means that nobody... You know, sister cannot use it. Your twin brother cannot use it. Your twin sister cannot use it. Your cousin, your mom, your anybody cannot use it. Unlike before, when people use passport and pass it on and use somebody else's passport to enter into the country. On a facial image, it is impossible. It is the reason why government wants to use this. Now, there is no reason why government cannot just smoothly. This time, they are, they are wasting. This thing. This time that they are wasting... They should have used this the same time to be inviting people. If they were using, if they were doing 50 a day, they would have been doing 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. All this while that it has been quiet, that they have not done anything. They would have completed this process. But it is a way to steal money. It is a way to, to get money from the government kitty. It is a way to eat money. Because if it's not a way to eat money, I cannot see any reason why this have to be, have to be created. It's a waste of time. People are going to struggle. My own take in it. You know, people are going to struggle in this aspect. You know, I cannot see any, any importance of this. Now, all the clients that I've sent letters to, to tell them that they don't have to go to biometric, when they see this, they are going to cry. They are going to be so sad. Believe me. They are going to be so sad. The only people that will go smoothly is this IT expert, computer expert. They are, going to, they are just going to laugh it off by calling me. And call, they, all they need is just to call me and I just transfer all the documents to them on the system. And then they will just put it, they upload it, take pictures and upload it. The computer expert, the IT expert, literates, the IT literates, they will not struggle. But somebody who is not literate in this arena will struggle again. And government has collected 19, 19 pounds from them only. That is complete only. Complete stealing, yes. Because by creating this thing, it's extra money. Contracts. If they create this, possibly they have the IT expert they are going to give it to. It's one of them. Because they have to make sure that there's no corruption when they are creating this. But the corruption has already been created by giving that contract out. There was no need to create this contract. And that is my take. Yeah, IDV, yeah. That's what it's called, IDV, yeah, it's an apps, yeah, yeah, government and the IDV department, yeah, it's IDV. So that's what I bring to your doorstep today, ladies and gentlemen. 
if you are worried that you have submitted, you have not heard anything from them, don't panic. The only reason you will panic if you have not paid money. If you have paid money to the home office and you have paid for the IHS, you've paid the home office fee and you've paid the NHS and you have submitted successfully, it means that you have submitted your application. Do not panic. There is no need for you to panic. The government is going to waste your time in this arena. So don't panic. For all those that have done in March and April, by now six months is coming, but government has not even started. Meanwhile, some people have been granted in between. How they do it, I don't know. Because I have clients that have been granted last week. I have some clients that were granted last week. I have some that were granted two weeks ago. Don't ask me how government is doing it. But there's going to be backlogs again. We are rolling back into backlogs. And my government in this country, we, go, we are going to use coronavirus as an excuse. Meanwhile, it's corruption. Thank you, dear. Thank you. Meanwhile, it's corruption. It is corruption. It is not, the delay is nothing from anywhere other than corruption. But there's going to be backlog. So I just say, let me pull it out to the public again. As part of my job, as part of what I enjoy doing, giving you out, giving you information on the first hand. First hand. You can see I have read it to you. So for some of you that are worried and thinking that something has gone wrong, nothing has gone wrong on your application. I don't have to be your lawyer. I cannot be lawyer for everybody in the world, but I'm giving out information for free for you to know that don't worry. You understand? Don't worry. Be rest assured. If you have submitted and you have paid the home office fee and you have paid the NHS fee, please be rest assured and your application went in before your leave to remain expired. You have right to continue in employment. If your employer is proving stubborn, go to your lawyer to issue section 3C. If your lawyer refused to issue section 3C, ask him to return your money. Oh yes, even though you have paid, you can report because your lawyer is supposed to issue your section 3C letter immediately if your employer is giving you problem. And that's what I'm telling you now. If you are one of my clients and your employer is giving you edit, come to me. Come to me and I will issue you section 3C notice. If you are one of mine, please, I'm, I've said it clearly now. If you are one of mine that I have submitted for and your employer is proving stubborn, get me the human resources details, get me the telephone number of the company, get me everything that you will need. And I shy. I can assure you, I can, I, you know, I will put it through to, the, uh, to, your, to your employer. I will issue that section 3C without any headache. Okay? I will issue that section 3C for you. So be rest assured. Be rest assured. You understand? Be rest assured that we are, work, we are working for you as well. And you, you should not raise any panic. Don't raise panic. Because if you raise panic, there's no need. What will be, will be. That's my philosophy of life. There's no need for anyone to panic. In Katuma Ashele, Ashele, what will be, will be. And what will not be, will not be. Don't let anybody deceive you. Everything is destined. Everything is written already. Morning to you, how are you, my dear? You understand? So, it is written. It is written what will happen, will happen. And what will not happen, will not happen. So, please don't panic. Tell me, tell me, listen, it's too, it's too early for me. I don't have time to, to do your laughing. Some leaders are corrupt. And, and once we get our Udua nation, any leaders that loot or corrupted, corrupted, Ogunlakaye will deal with them all. Enough is enough. We don't want bank leaders. <laughs> Did you hear that? Listen, I don't have it. I don't have that mouth to smile this morning. Monday morning, I like to crack up quickly. I've got a lot of work to do on my desk. But I enjoy doing this thing first. When I have information, I like to put it out quickly before I forget. Because I know that people will panic again and say, oh, they haven't got their time. Uh, they haven't got the response from the home office. Don't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic at all. Be rest assured that it will come to your turn. You will be granted. So that's what I have for you. But I've got to go now. I appreciate all of you for coming on my timeline. And when I see you, I know my, I know my people and my people know me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Until next time when I have vital information, uh, keep looking at my platform. 
until next time if you have not like and follow like and follow you need to subscribe and on my youtube my youtube is everyday information i put information out every day on my youtube so i don't have to come to facebook all the time i only come to facebook because of the large crowd that's why i came today to give you the information so if you have not followed my youtube go and follow lawyer to kumbo like by atv or youtube lawyer to kumbo like by atv on youtube because you'll be able to get all the information every day every day five five minutes every day you get information from me every day on youtube so take care until next time thank you everybody thank you bye for now bye so don't forget i came online to tell you biometric reuse they have introduced hubs that hubs you'll be invited again which is going to mean which, which is going to be another third letter you have already received a letter to tell you that don't worry now there's another letter now i'm going to send it to all of them that receive it they don't know yet almost 10 clients that received the first one this is the second one for them and there's going to be a third one waste of time waste of time corruption at its highest it's a waste of time and it's corruption at the, at the highest but I've, I've got to go now thank you everybody have a blessed week enjoy your day god bless you and god bless the work of my hand as well bye